Hey, this is Julian from Raw Physique, and I wanted to do a video on compound movements and compound lifts in the gym, and the benefits of using these compound lifts. If you're new to exercise, or don't have that much time in the gym, or even if you're an advanced bodybuilder or weightlifter, these are still beneficial exercises you should do. Compound movements are very important and I will explain why. So compound movements, unlike isolation exercises, activate a lot more muscle fibers and different muscle groups doing that single exercise. For an example, if you're doing the bench press, it activates your pectoral muscle and your deltoids along with your triceps and your biceps as a stabilizer. So four muscle groups compared to something like a tricep extension or a bicep curl, which just activates one muscle group. So if you only have 45 minutes to kick it in the gym, compound exercises. You could sneak in a couple compound exercises and it'd be a lot more than trying to isolate several muscle groups and work those out. Examples of compound lifts are flat bench, incline bench, decline bench, barbell rows, military press, deadlifts, squats, lunges, and lat pull downs, whether that be pull-ups or using a machine. All those lifts activate a lot of muscle groups when you're using them. So those are considered compound lifts, and they all activate several muscle groups while you are exercising. Compound lifts are really good for increasing strength and size. There are a couple reasons for this. One, you're activating a lot more muscle and muscle fiber while you're exercising. It's doing, let's say, lat pull downs. It is activating your bicep, but it's not like isolating the bicep and doing curls. The maximum time you want to spend in the gym, if you're natural, is 45 minutes to around an hour, maybe a little over an hour. There's certain biological reasons why you don't want to go over that, and I will probably cover that in another video if you guys want to see that. Also, with heavy compound lifts or even just compound lifts if you're new, it is really good to warm up before you do any of this. So you could either like walk on the treadmill or jog for a couple minutes. I actually run for about five minutes on the treadmill before any time in the gym is spent lifting weights. It gets my blood flowing, my cardiovascular system flowing, going, and helps to prevent injury. So it's good to have a good warm up and then after the workout, you could spend a couple minutes stretching and that'll help you as well. So especially if you're new to bodybuilding, I would say spend 45 minutes to an hour in the gym, do some of these compound lifts. Depending on how many days you're actually be working out, I would definitely try to work out two of the same compound lifts in one week. Like one day do bench and then two or three days later do another bench set. Same thing with overhead press or barbell pull downs or pull ups. One thing I do do is something like squats and deadlifts. I'll do squats one day a week and I'll do deadlifts another day of the week. I do not do two sets of squats and two sets of deadlifts. Meaning Monday squats Tuesday deadlifts, Thursday squats, Friday deadlifts. I do not do that. I just do one set. Like on Tuesdays, I do squats. Fridays, I do deadlifts. I noticed that I actually have had better results doing that than doing it the other way. So genetically, that works for me. So everyone, go ahead, work in these compound lifts to your workout regimen and make sure that you actually use good form. Good form is very important, especially if you're new. You do not want to teach your muscles the wrong way to do a deadlift or do a squat. If you do, it takes a hell of a lot longer and it is hard to fix. So use good form. Even if you think you can't lift as much weight with it, it is very, very important. Once you become more advanced, you will injure yourself. And believe me, it is not fun having to spend months not doing deadlifts just because you like to arch your back or do horrible form on it. And that goes for all the other lifts as well. Form is important. Plus, you look more badass in the gym if you're using really good form. All right, everyone, good luck with the compound lifts. If you do not know what a bench, squat, pull-up, deadlift, or military press is, I will put the pictures up all around here, and you could pause and look at it. Also, it'd be good to just Google proper form with deadlift or bench, or any other ones we talked about. All right, one more time. Compound lifts, 
do a couple isolations in there after your compounds. Regardless of you being new or advanced, more advanced you'll probably want to add more isolation. Try to hit the specific compound a couple times a week with at least one or two rest days in between. And make sure you use good form even if it's with lower weight. If you have any questions about this or anything, you could always leave a comment down below. You can visit my website, julian-rawphysique.com. I will be pushing out videos once a week with exercise tips and tricks and weight loss tips and tricks. If you'd like to get updated and see those, please subscribe over here. And if you want to see intermediate fasting or another one of my informational videos, they will be over here. All right, everyone, this is Julian from Raw Physique again. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Be safe and peace.